Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I did a Amorezi inspired look and I'm going to get my phone so I can show you which look that I was inspired by. It was this one. It was this one right here. She did the classic little inner corner cat eye thing and I've always wanted to try it so I figured why not give it a try now and so that's what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye! Alright, as usual we are priming our eyelids and I'm just going to be using the concealer by Urban Decay to do this and I'm just blending that out with my finger. Then we're going to be um, just setting that concealer or well, the primer, whatever you want to call it, with just a matte nude uh, or matte cream color um, on our brow bone. Then I'm going to be going in with some tape to put on the edges of our eyes because we want a sharp line. Then I'm going to be going in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette with that first like matte brown shade. And I'm going to be putting that on my crease. And this look requires a lot of blending. I spent a total of like maybe like 10 minutes on just blending. And that may not seem like a lot, but it is. Your, ha your hand definitely starts to hurt. But as you can see, I'm just uh, rocking that back and forth in the crease of my eye. And then after we blend this out, we're going to be going in with the darker matte, like, it's kind of like a grayish brown. And um, we're going to be putting that in our crease. And I'm using a very, very thin brush to do this. And then I'm just going in with a fluffier br blending brush just to blend it out. I really want this to be a very nice cut crease type of look. Not a full cut crease, but we definitely do not want any browns or anything on the lid. We want to keep that lid fair. Then after we're done blending this out, we're going to be going in with the City Color Cosmetics Multi Hue Palette and taking that gorgeous uh, gold shade. And these colors are insanely pigmented. I highly recommend this palette, this brand. I love this palette. As you can see, it's very, very pigmented. I'm just putting that on my finger and putting that on my eye. These colors work a lot better when applying them with your finger. As you can see, I'm just putting that over my eye. It goes on very, very nicely, and it's such a beautiful color. It's kind of like a gel consistency, but not completely. Then after that, I'm going to be going in with the two um, bottom shades from the Lab Pro 2, the two shimmery colors. I'll leave all the colors listed below along with links for the products. And I'm just going to be putting that on top of the um, gold color that we just put on just to like set it a little, just because it is kind of gold and my I have hooded eyes so I don't want it to be transferring to my lid. So now I'm going to be going in with that color and I'm just going to be putting it in my inner corner just to open up my inner corner a lot more. Then after that I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone with that same color and then I'm going to be doing some liner. And the liner is probably the most important thing in this, pic in this um, I guess, video. And you want to wing that eyeliner out. The tape really, really helps you as a guideline, so I fully recommend using tape for this. But as you can see, it's just a very, very, very big liner, and I really liked how it came out. I'm not one for big eyeliner, but I like how this came out. So as you can see, I'm just winging it out and then just filling it in, and I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner. I love this liner. Amarezi actually uses this herself, along with other top beauty gurus. So I like this eyeliner a lot. Then I'm just going to be applying some lashes, and these lashes are from Forever 21. Highly, highly recommend the Forever 21 lashes. I can reuse them up to about five to six times. I really like them. I highly recommend you get them, and they're only like, they range from about one to three dollars. Now I'm just putting some white or nude um, eyeliner on my waterline just to open my eyes a little bit more. And then I'm just going to be concealing some of my blemishes that I have on my face right now with that Urban Decay 24-7 concealer. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my concealer brush, which is the F87 by, or no, F86 by Sigma. Then we're going to be going in with my two favorite foundations right now, the Stay Matte and the L'Oreal Infallible. This is a perfect drugstore full coverage foundation if you mix these two together. Absolutely beautiful. It keeps you matte. It keeps you very, well, yeah, it keeps you matte. And they blend out nicely and they just look amazing. I highly recommend these two foundations put together. And I'm just blending that out with a 
flat top shader brush and also uh, with my Real Techniques brush just to blend it in a little bit more. Then I'm going to be going in with concealer, of course, and I'm using that 24-7 concealer by Urban Decay. Love this concealer. I highly, highly recommend it. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my flat top kabuki brush from Sigma. Oh, no, my tapered kabuki brush by Sigma. And I'm just putting that basically everywhere I want to be highlighted, and I'm putting on a generous amount just because why not? I mean, who doesn't want to cake on their makeup sometimes? But anyways, as I'm blending this out, after this, I'm going to be using the Banana Powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills just to blend everything out. Then after that, um, I am going to be... Uh, what am I going to be doing? When I'm, uh, one sec. Let's wait a second. Oh, after this, I'm going to be just fix going back to the eyes and fixing my liner and then adding that feline little winged liner on the bottom lashes. So for the winged liner on the bottom lashes, if that's what I'm going to be calling it that, you want to use a very precise uh, defined angled brush. And I'm just going to be taking a matte black shade. I'm just going to be following the inner corner of my eye. It's really not that hard. You just have to really place, uh, pay close attention and just really be precise with it. A concealer also helps if you mess up a little bit, but this really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. And then I'm just going in and making it a little bit more darker, and then I'm going to be taking a charcoal color from the Lorac Pro 2 palette and just smoking out that lower lash line, just because hers was a lot smokier than the one I did, just because I was kind of nervous. I didn't know how it was going to look, but I liked how this ended up coming out. Then I'm just going to be applying mascara on my top lashes and bottom lashes. Then after that I'm going to be taking a very very tiny um, brush and I'm going to be taking a gold color and just putting that on the like space between the liner and my inner corner just to open it up a little bit more. Then after that I'm going to be contouring my face with the City Color Cosmetics contour effects palette which is an amazing contour palette it, the colors blend very nicely and they are really really matte and they are definitely cool toned so they work very nicely then we're going to be taking um, a yellow powder I use mine from the BH cosmetics um, contour palette and I'm going to be like baking my con uh, no my, my contour just to get a more uh, sharp defined line underneath my contour and I've been doing this um, not for long now and I kinda like how it's coming out but not too bad anyways I'm gonna be going in with that same blush from that palette and just gonna be putting that blush on and we're gonna be using the Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill collaboration highlighter which is absolutely amazing I'm sure you guys most of you have your hands on it already if you don't I highly recommend that you do and I'm just going to be packing on that highlighter like there is no tomorrow I absolutely love this highlighter I use it every single day probably way more than I should but I just love how it looks it it really is such an amazing highlighter I really recommend you guys get your hands on it Then after that, I'm going to be taking just a brown pencil and just, oh, also I'm going to be wiping away that cake baking thing that I just did. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking a brown pencil and just like filling in my uh, beauty mark a little bit. And then I'm going to be taking a nude lip pencil and then I'm going to be going in with the LA Girl lip, gl uh, lip Gloss in Whisper and just putting that all over my lips. Then I'm going to be setting my face and then you are all done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, make sure you please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.